Hello everyone, welcome back again for another fruitful tutorial. In this tutorial, as you see, we are going to create user interface elements animation inside of After Effects. They are very basic animations and we will do in just a few minutes. Alright, I don't want to waste your time. Let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. So here we are in After Effects. As you see, I have this BG. Let's see it. This is just a PG solid layer. This is the first shape. This is the second. I mean the circle for swipe. And these are the four line and circle animation. Okay, perfect. Let's start by this animation. You can you can change the colors if you want according to your wish. Uh, okay, let's select this circle press p on the keyboard create a position keyframe and let's move a little bit on the timeline here one second and drag this circle here all right perfect good again come here again go here copy this keyframe past it and then go last frame last keyframe which is here and copy first keyframe past it here all right select all the keyframes let's make easy and press n for preview this area okay perfect again select all the layers let's go to the graph editor we want to play around with the curves so select the second keyframe and drag the curve here and this one as well so we have this smooth animation perfect perfect job okay let's do the second thing second animation as we swipe this button we want to change the color of the shape the background shape so select this layer and go to the content select angle fill and create a keyframe for the color okay good and move here let's change the color according to our wish for instance i want to select like green color okay perfect again we need to use same keyframe same color for this keyframe and the last keyframe should be the same okay perfect let's again select all of the keyframes and create a Create an easy keyframe. All right, good. And again, let's go to the graph editor and let's change the curve according our wish. I mean, it should be similar with the circle keyframe properties. So let's see the animation. Yeah, perfect. If we want, for instance, let's come here and copy this keyframe pass it here and again copy this keyframe pass it here so we don't see the uh, color change quickly yeah so you can play around with the keyframe for instance let's drag it here and drag this one here that is better all right perfect the first elements is ready and we did a perfect animation all right let's jump into the those animation so we have this rectangle shape here and this is the line just we have a stroke color and this is the circle okay perfect all right the first thing we need to do put this rectangle the mask above the line above the line Let's name this one as mask. Okay, perfect. And let's track mat with the mask. Okay, right now we can see the line here. And the last thing we need to do, parent the mask with the circle. So when we move it, we can see the line. For instance, let's choose the, let's select the mask and put it here drag it here okay let's make the animation press p for the circle create a keyframe and move 
on the timeline here and drag it here sorry drag it here and again go a little bit and let's make let's put it a little bit at the back side and again let's drag and put this line here so let's see the animation yeah perfect if you want you can play around with the keyframes for instance yeah okay and copy this keyframe past it here and again copy this keyframe and pass this one here so we have this animation okay let's select all the layers and let's make it easy so you can use this uh, icon as well if you want yeah this is the as this is the swipe animation we use on our mobile phones okay as you see everyone we have did really awesome job inside of after effects and and we did create user interface elements animation inside of after effects in a few minutes without using any third part plugin all right guys if you find this video helpful please like the video and if you have any questions you can drop your questions on the comment section below i will respond to your questions and try to answer your questions as soon as possible until next tutorial take care